If you had told my grandfather that in 2023, baseball would have a pitch clock and a ghost runner on second rule, he would have been outraged. But like many grandfathers, mine passed away many years ago. And since his time, cultural tastes have changed and adjustments have been made. I accept this and I don't fear changes. But there is one aspect of this pitch clock thing that I do think is going to be an issue. First, let me say that whether you like or dislike the new time limits, you can't argue their effectiveness. Last year, the average MLB game was three hours and nine minutes long. This season, that average length has dipped down to two hours and 38 minutes. That's about a half an hour shaved off of games, and it's made for a much more streamlined product. And this early in the season, it's 30 minutes that most of us won't miss. But let's face it, a game played in April just doesn't offer the same sense of urgency as a late September matchup when your team is fighting for a playoff spot. Sports is entertainment. Entertainment requires drama. Good drama is about moments. And sometimes, in order to be most effective and most enjoyable, those moments need time to breathe. The game on the line, pitcher batter showdown is the closest thing that we have in sports to witnessing the sort of epic duels that have been a narrative staple in cinema since the dawn of film. Primarily featured in westerns, but by no means exclusive to the genre. It's a popular plot device because of the inherent drama of the situation. Everything we've experienced up to that point has been building to this moment, and now we're finally here to watch as the protagonist and antagonist face off once and for all. And at this point, time is no longer something to endure, it's something to savor. Truly great film directors like John Ford and Sergio Leone knew this. That's why they never rushed their duels. They knew enough about storytelling to let those moments breathe, to reward the audience for their patience. Cut to close-up shots of steely gazes and narrowing eyes and hands twitching in anticipation. Cut to shots of the onlooking crowd as they wait in delicious anguish for the emotional release of learning how this story will end. The time to appreciate being a small part of something consequential before finally being rewarded with closure. Some have suggested eliminating the pitch clock when we reach the postseason. I don't know if that's the best option or even an option at all. I just know that not all moments in time are equally meaningful and that just because something works in April doesn't mean it will work in October. Or maybe it will. I guess we'll see. Only time will tell. Go Guardians.